there's gonna be a whole lot of emotions and I think people will do the best they can to abuse these new mechanics, which I think is super exciting. Team 27015 up against the Vita boys. Dust2, I've played more Dust2 in this last week than I have in my entire life, but we get to see it now in an official capacity. I'm excited for this one. Team Exist versus Team Harry. It is gonna be going down. Of course, coaches are behind the boys. We've got Hugo. Uh, supporting team beat up boy and we've got Chad Virtual standing behind. He's just gonna be taking notes uh, and we'll be discussing it after the fact, but let's get into it. It seems it's time for our first round of Counter-Strike 2 and look up mid comes Diha. Look at this, already they've been Ooh. taken down. Running into Shalfi and the USP. Oh my, it's kicking off and it's already getting quite spicy in here. Tessus goes tumbling down, no, and that's the way they start things off. Yeah, that was quick. That was a little quick. I think from the T side, maybe just using a couple utilities in the future. You know, hmm. you know that situation when you play facing game, everyone is like Kevlar immediately, no flash. I guess we're brushing along. They try to take duels immediately, but CT is way too strong. I'm very intrigued to see just how quickly some of the players pick this up. You know, that's one of the biggest questions is how does the competitive scene shake up? You can see crowds already, already ready to line up. Shalfi towards the lower position. It's brave to do so in a second round. Oh, Damn, my here's God. the Harry Deagle. He there actually he wins out again. Snappy drops the rifle. He's coming for more and now met by force. A nice defensive spray. Shalfi's chipped away at two. Look at hey, this in B. He's got with the fire. Step to the, the sounds are now. You can hear the sound. You can see it on the radar. You know. He knows he's heard. And they're going to retake him immediately. Fame doesn't give him the chance to plan that bomb. It's just going to be tested. Not enough this time. I mentioned, Alex, one of the new mechanics as well in CS, uh, Source 2, rather, is that when you step, you have a little visual cue on your own radar of how far that sound went. And I, got it, I guarantee you, it gets in your own head. I was yeah. playing, watching it, thinking, oh my god, can they really hear me so far? Right. What the hell is this? Gotta change my shoes immediately. I, I mean, I think some people are getting a little bit too upset about that uh, addition to the radar. I, I truly think most people who already have the ability are not looking at your radar. You're not looking at your crosshair if you're looking at your radar. But for those newer, it certainly helps you pick up that information quicker. You saw in the chat as well, Snappy not happy to feel the wrath of the Harry Deeg. And it seems like the CTs are off to a flying start here. It is just Desert Eagles, P250s into these M4s. This is just classic Dust 2 aggression, mate. But look who is all the way down <laughs> suicide. Fame's running it down. He's going to make himself famous. Bacadian oh, oh. with the Glock. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. They don't respect them right now. There's no respect for the T side. 130, he was already T-spawned. There needs to be a reaction. We need to see Harry rival up the troops, maybe just fan out a little bit, do some map control, punish the aggression, because they've been boxed in. This isn't a game so far. I do like these new blood effects, I must say. Yeah. It's quite gory, it's quite chunky. I mean, it's like the, the visibility is definitely uh, like one of my biggest notable improvements. Boost doesn't connect, Cadian. He's let it go, Crad is out long. Oh, spotted, he's surely trapped. Yeah, HE gonna be heading towards his general di direction, but he's fine, smoke to get himself out, watch out. Any nades in play. Over the smoke is Tessus, a nice tap on to exist. Uh, it looks like we are gonna be seeing a bit of a better start for the seaside. So many smokes, so many smokes going on. Spray is going left, right, center, and he's already behind the game. Fame, Fame has boxed him. Go on. Oh, Tessus has actually saved them. And D has trapped in the pit. Crad could be getting a bit hot and bothered. That sound like a little snake just yeah. biting your heels. And this Anaconda still strangle around out because there's been nothing on the T side. Hey. Yeah, and Cadian, well, he's been completely removed from the equation. Shalfi on the rotate. Man's got the hot rod. Will it be a hot handed play? It's the first. Goodbye, nerds. See the little edge of the smoke there? Mm. It's much easier to force with bullets on the very edge. That's the visibility. Gets the first. Looking for more. Love Didn't it. catch a glimpse of him with the shot through the smoke. Dia plays the fade, but a snappy one out of Tessus. Quad kill 
from the Dane, and he gets them on the board. A whole lot about the smokes at the end of this very round, Alex. So many moments that were key. You mentioned it. The edge of it, we know in Counter-Strike, famously, players will try to play with the edge and grab a little bit of information, but if you catch a bullet, it creates this immediate hole, which you are revealed, and then at the end, Tez has played it perfectly as well. He was even looking for information in the 1v1, tapped a couple of bullets just to make sure, hey, hold on a second, are you here? And then he grabs that clutch. Beautiful. It's a really cool tidbit to look at. And we'll see more of those glimpses of the new ways that Source 2 affects this beautiful game. Already here, though, we're down to a four versus four, and they've actually got out of long this time. Fame the AWPer. Oh, double AWP. In the mix. There's a scout on the T side as well. Who's going to be crossing over first? That's a missed shot. Kadians let it go, but Harry fortunately does deliver the trade. Go on, Harry. Does he get across the Fame AWP, though? They have a smoke. They should use a smoke. Where is it? Be able to take oh, jewels. Oh, never mind, actually. Who needs smoke when you have headshots? Yeah, this this double orbs. They have to hit the shot. That does help. And now they're just getting AKV orped. Any more for fame? I don't think so. They might just have to run away. Upgrade is save. And nope. Denied. Nerds. That was a fantastic job. I'm seeing a couple of orb misses uh, at the moment. I saw a, a discussion starting. I think the orb feels really good, actually. Just personally, running around, it does feel like everything kits. Yeah, the, the shots feeling is true and, and the, it's powerful. Yeah, the traces as well. Yes, mm. I do have an issue with, and I think it was uh, Chan who mentioned it at the on the couch here, is the fact that you cannot automatically switch to the secondary zoom while just having your key pressed. You that doesn't to. bother me a little bit. It was like, a, in a, they did, I think it kind of might have been a mistake or a bug from their fixes. Well, there we have it. That's the moment. That's yeah. what I'm talking oh. about. The information in the smoke and he grabs the kill. Oh. Welcome to Source 2. Welcome to Source 2 indeed. Nerds has handled the uh, aggression from fame. I mean, he's been behind them every round, so good to see some housekeeping. Nerds is already into B, but you can see the bomb's still hanging out long. Damn, this new minimap is clean. I'm only just starting to process how easy it is to just look at those. It's actually quite interesting just how quick your brain starts to adjust to it, right? Because it's like, obviously, we've had CS go for so long, but this is really sort of one of those where after a few minutes of looking at it, you're like, oh, okay, I'm in, I'm dialed in. Absolutely, and, and for the players out there, I guarantee you it's going to take a little bit of while to get used to the new HUD, which means the mm. HP is quite centered compared mm. to the far left. And I think players that have had hundreds of hours, thousands of hours, we've been so used to visually just have a quick glance, like a glance. see the color, No, okay, I'm 30 HP, I'm 20 HP, I have 80. I find myself in some of these games having no idea whether or not I've been tagged, no idea if I'm a HP or not, so they're going to have to get used to this. Well, fortunately, Kaden doesn't have to ask the question because an option in the head, minus a million HP. Minus a million. And up mid, who's holding this one? No one is, actually. So they go for a short stack or they flank in? Yeah, up short. Getting across. Everyone just wants a duel. Like, everyone's just hungry for some frags, and it is going to be stolen away by Krad's Galil. Nade on the nose. See you later, nerd. Oh, Harry's getting into it as well. You can see the little smirk. He's starting to feel himself. He's had his one dig. He's had his rifle shot. He's starting to warm up. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, I will, I will also specify, <laughs> there is no observer HUD yet. Like, you're, you're straight up seeing, this is like... This is pretty raw. This yeah. is us being in the game as a spectator, right? This is if you've joined a DM uh -oh. and you haven't joined a team yet. We don't have uh, the overlay HUD that you've grown to expect from Go. So don't get too upset just yet. Charging in. There's only one man here and exists. He did some damage, but from behind, the long push good. Go on, Harry Russell. Litter bat. <laughs> is he ready for this, though? Oh, oh, yes, he is. Harry onto Shelfie. He's dead now, right? He's not going to hit the 180 turn. Oh. No way. No oh, way. Oh, oh, no Harry way. Owns three professional counter strikers. And there's only one more. Go on, Harry. Go on, son. Can't finish the job. Grad can. Five in the bank, and he's feeling himself. There we go. This now is what his performance looks like, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a turnaround as well. You can see Kaden had his nose to the monitor, but to Harry that closes. He's never going to let us forget that. That moment is now engraved in his memory. Yeah. By being ready for the third, man. Being ready for the third, he gets extra brownie points for sure. Also, with the addition of legs, kicking the football is a lot more satisfying now. 
It does look really good. Yeah, though. you actually it's do a, take yeah. a proper kick. You see it get punted. It is beautiful to watch. But who will get booted out of the server here as it's a 5 free split here on the first half of Dust 2. These new smokes as well, you can cover the whole of double doors. Ooh, nice one. Cadian starting to rack him up on the AWP. There is still a potential threat from Snappy Scout. And oh. there is the pistol starting to farm up. It's the 5-7. Look at the damage Harry takes as well. Tessus and him low and running out of bullets. Nerds does need to fall off for the reload. They're going to get the plant down, but this feels like a retake that's very much on. Nice shot back. Still two players for the CT side. Coming on in. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. dear, Remy. It all falls to Nerds. Can he clutch up? Nerds the AWPer. Doesn't hit the flick, and it's a great recovery with just pistols. That was a great 2v3. You could see how Nerds had to deal with what I like to call the dolphin peak, which is basically jumping an angle, just showing a shoulder, coming back, and you're trying to figure out, no, what the hell, what up? And they let that one go. We see <laughs> very stern conversations now. Obviously, in the T-cam, I think they realize uh, the, the gravity of what just happened, of course, 2v3 in that key moment. Now by the wayside. But the edge of the smokes, it makes, it, it's, it's so interesting to me to see how you are ready when we're watching this. So especially I'm thinking about those long smokes when you can see that when no one can see anything on one side, no one can see anything on the other. There is like just, that. It's just so apparent. These standoffs and the exchange of information much more oh, equal. Oh my God, they're just rushing. D has already lost a lot of health. D90 doesn't get crad very far, but D here should be dead. Harry deals with the flank and Cadian as well on the cross. Hello, this is a B take that should be taking shape. Someone in that T team has a smoke from spawn to doors on B. I've seen it twice now. I see a smoke immediately land towards the door. Was that the smoke that Trace was talking about? Yeah. Just then I revealed something about I saw that. Rush actually, he tweeted it, or rather ESL tweeted his smoke. He's learned, he's learned one from all the way back, like T spawn Ooh. to the B doors. But, and that's something I wanted to ask you, Matthew. Do you think that the uh, the removal of skyboxes is going to need to be, like, watched with a very, with a magnifying glass? Because uh, do you remember Inferno before we added skyboxes? Do you remember, like, from Long, just re-smoking Deep Banana five times from Long side? I, I mean, at the time, yeah, we, we didn't have the, the smoke dropping or the grenade dropping mechanism, which now we have. Yes. So it's a whole new bargain, true, it's true, a whole true. new recipe. But in the end, yes, I think that any professional team now will have to have probably a person dedicated to think through this new mechanism. Now, there's no skybox anymore. It was even mentioned at the sofa as well. Some maps use the skybox to bounce back Molotovs. Yes. Inferno is a good example. On the B side, you do have your Molly C1, C2, C3 against the wall. You can't do that anymore if there aren't any skyboxes. So I, I like any change that forces everybody to just rethink a situation. Mm. The, the cards have been shuffled. What we knew isn't true anymore. We have to rethink and we have to find our way through it. This is something I like. There we go. This is ballsy from Tessus. He's a dead man on the push out the doors. Molly stops the potential trade. He's naded the smoke. Nothing to report. From my head count, it seems like about three, 3.5 seconds of like what, before the smoke is back. Mm. It's interesting as well, obviously, you have to get that placement is made absolutely yes. spot on. Yeah. Like, it's it's harder than it looks already. Yeah, multiple times I've removed half of the smoke. You know, like in B-Tons does too, it's because it fills the length of the tunnel. Nice find. It's a four on four, full gun round. Just a battle of attrition with utilities everywhere. There's still a HE in play. <laughs> We might, we might get to we'll see keep, one. We'll keep an eye on these grenades. <laughs> we have to. It's, I'm just trying to work out how to read this HUD. I'm getting there. Are oh, you further than I, than I am? Keep up who, how many numbers are like. Who I'm looking speed. at, yeah. Crowd removed by Snappy with a great little off angle. Now, Harry, my friend, it's time for you to make your move. Your, your teammates have been blocked. They've been stomped. You have to put some pressure. He does so with the smoke, but Snappy's doing a fantastic job towards mid, and that's oh, going to be dear. a triple for the Danish IGL, leaving Harry in the clutch. Harry won versus four. Up against it all. I could have the first. I think. Oh, the step. The step. Oh, oh, Harry Russell's in trouble. And should go down here. They're teasing him. It's a USP to finish that one little extra step. That was something Cadian brought up that I want to pay closer attention to, especially when we get back into the server ourselves. Is, is Cadian was thinking that he might be making a little noise quicker you know in csgo i know where you can actually, for the jiggles you can do those silent you can jiggles. optimize if yeah, you yeah, optimize your velocity you can kind of stay in the, the quiet realm his his theory is that you make those steps sooner and the harry might have just given us an example of that 
it's quite possible. Um, again, to come back on this smoke and grenade conversation, yeah. which maybe I should keep an eye on for later now, because this is actually a B-Rush. We're back right back in the action. Fame with the AK doing his work, spraying through the smoke. That's crowd being eliminated. The good trades coming in from Tess is going all over the place. Smokes oh. being landed. He's looking for information. Again, Harry uses the mechanism for him. Yeah, I mean, that spray completely different if he didn't have the vision. From behind, good timing. Nerds should have a multi-kill here. Oh, oh no! Too long! He waited way too long. Two versus three now. The T's do get the bomb down, but they're going to be very thick and fast through the door, through the gate. One versus three for Cadian. He does like a clutch, does Cadian, and he's doing it right here live. Underhands the flashes, just trying to delay. Smoke to peek around. He will molly him forward. He throws one back. Look at this. He's missed the molly. He's going to assume. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Here he's going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Katie, you're not going to be happy with that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, he's really not. He's really, he's really not happy. Oh, the desk slam into the double fist bump. I love the contrast. Katie is so mad, and Harry's just happy to be here. He's just like, so come happy, on, man. Yeah. That was awesome. Just yeah, dude. Bye, you know. Moving on. I mean, he did the hard part. And then I think the molly just a little flat. You can see that that new indicator for mm. where the molly burned. It's very apparent. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding it. Schadenfreude, I believe is the German word for that. I'm just laughing at his misfortune. This is an awfully serious show. I, I mean, yeah. actual map control. It is. It is. And I understand why. I mean, everyone's just excited to see how it feels in comparison to what to something they've repeated thousands of times. Beautiful this is the work. cleanest CT round so far. And as we see crowd attempting this one before in the pawn I was trying to make for is that Please. you used to be safe with a smoke in front of you, right? Barring some kind of spray with a silencer, you used to be safe. And I think it was a peaceful mind that you had, but now things are gonna oh. change. Oh. Oh. Squeeze me. This thing is going to change now because you kind of have to imagine the smoke as a potential threat and time. you have to be ready because when you hear that grenade, it might be too late. If you're not ready, that's it. Someone is taking a duel on you and you're probably just in your own mind or you can be losing that a little bit. Now you have to be ready. No smoke will ever you, really protect you. You know how, how big of a part of like competitive tier one Counter-Strike is, is in like just feigning map control as well. Like, you know, overpass. If you haven't shown anything long, then you will get abused and over-rotated and gambled upon. So now imagine like nading smokes to feign. Yes. You know, it goes everywhere. Um, I think that's what's going to happen eventually. I think the CTs, the, I think the CTs will time the usage of their grenades to make sure that is there someone behind that smoke? Right. Are they lurking on banana and overpass? Are there people behind the monster smoke? Let me just use a grenade and make sure that I see what's happening. And I think the grenade is about to have such a much more influential role in Counter Strike. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that we talked about as well on the couch was the spray. Like, I f there is very universally shared opinion that there's something more difficult slash different in the full commitment to the spray. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've seen the side-by-side -side comparisons of spray control. Like, the pattern is, is identical. There's no question So why there. does it feel so different? So why does it feel different? I agree because, with you. And I'll tell you why, Matthew. I think it's crazy because we don't appreciate... That is the one. That is, that the, is the one I was talking about. Thank this you, Harry Russell. Or smoke. And this is a quick... For a trade from Tessus, rifle in hand. Snappy only gets one. Reaction util is good. God, this is serious business now. Look, watch this. Fame's got an orb. Smoke is good. He still has a HE if he fancies his chances. Miss smoke from Harry. And good shots from Fame. Oh, dear. Three sprayed him down and a click to finish. Chad Burchill oh, with some good, good kind down. words. Yeah, yeah, that was cute. We do have, a, as you can tell, we have a microphone roughly in the player vicinity. I don't know how well we can hear them, but maybe we can try and do like a listen-in, quasi-listen-in, if, uh, if the players are having fun for this one. Last round of the half. I could give it a go for the pistol round, maybe. We could, uh, we could experiment. A good, a good shout, yeah. We we'll can see if we can get that out. going. Let's see if we can uh, listen in, as it were. Oh, 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is serious communication. It actually is. Like, there is no, there's is. no funny business. Like, even hearing Caden going, oh, maybe we can search mid, and Snappy's, like, bouncing back. Like, yeah, I didn't see any names. It's like, they're really... Refresh dead. of information, yeah, feedback yeah, loop yeah, coming yeah. in. One B, yeah, one mid door flashing. <laughs> awesome. Damn. They all want to be the first winners of the CS2 match. Can't blame them. Really can't exactly blame the them, right? Hell, You'd be there. Try hard is my default setting. I actually yeah. don't know how to do it differently, so... No blame at all. Now that's one of the oh! exactly, that's one of the smoke that's been used the most, but they've been punished for it this time. Um, yeah, it, it looked cool. It didn't work out well for the CTs. The smoke nade combo just leads to the entire team getting sprayed down. I think it was our friend uh, Jordan Nothing Gilbert who had a little bit of a highlight on, on Twitter as well with that smoke and the grenade push punishing everybody going towards long side. So it's one of the first few ones that maybe people will now implicitly consider threatening. Like, there is a smoke top mate, guys, be careful. They might have been behind it, and the punish was instantaneous. It's now Cadian. Ooh, I was gonna say can he punish, but he's proving that. He's just with his actions. Well, the 1v3, certainly not looking too favorable now. Look how pretty they are. The Molotov, that is. The players, too. It's that new Galil, man. God. I do like the way the Galil right? sounds. Like, it's, it's crazy how the sound change has single-handedly made me consider buying it again. Uh, it does sound That crazy. was the argument for you. Yeah, well, game. I mean, I'm also, yeah, just, I'm just desperate to be a deep or superstar. I just, <laughs> it's not. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. An acquired skill. Bang. Oh, my yeah. Uh, that wasn't far off either. But up to 11. It's time for the CTs to wake up. Give them a go. You can see that there is full, uh, a combination of smiles and concentration. A nice blend. And you can see the CTs tried a nice aggressive move. Partial buy, scouts, digs, and death. That's a fully gone out. It's obviously not the, uh, the round that you want to play, but sometimes you just have to concede. You have yeah, to accept that. A couple of deagles, maybe. No, it's a bit of a superstar. Did they clear him? Of course. So <laughs> diligent. <laughs> yeah. I've played Dust 2 before, says Exist. Exist has a couple of hours in the game. A couple, for sure. A couple of hours. No doubt about it. A couple of uh, titles as well. A couple of titles, a couple of dominate, dominant periods. But yeah, the interesting isn't it that the um, all the, the corpses and ragdolls are the same for everyone now as well. Ooh, nice shot. Tassus Deeg still looking sharp. I was just processing. In the first half, we didn't have a whole lot of B splits, but that smoke in itself with the grenade principle, you're about to crash a whole lot of rotations. And it can work both ways. You can be on the T side, smoking the CT spawn, and then just catching the rotation because everybody's just usually gathering up and running towards B, or the other way around, from the CTs, from spawn, just dropping a little grenade, and then you can just bring them out there trying to uh, split the B side. Uh, so we'll referee, see if we've got a 5v4 here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this done disconnected. And fame's already been brought down. Yeah, we've got the, uh, the uh, admin team on it, but this one is a... Uh, I mean, maybe it's a necessary handicap. Maybe the CTs needed a little bit of a 5v4 here. Slow them down a little yeah. bit. We don't want this one to end too quickly. Nice Crag gets himself the first. So already, there's only three of them left. Um, oh. We lost everything. It's, it it's looks possible. like it. I think it was exist. It was actually, it was all exist. Do the dance. He's dance. unplugged it the machine. It looks like he's pushing his Do skateboard. It oh, looks man. like he's doing yeah. like, yeah. You're just mm. missing the like Tony Hawk pro skater music. Hey! 
What are we getting this one? Wow. I'm sure resolved. Harry's still like literally having the time of his life. Now we're just stress testing teams and we're testing their mental resilience, you know? A little bit of frustration. So do we, do we love the new Glock sound? What do we think? I think it's good. I yeah. actually quite like all the new gun sounds. Like, obviously, I've been sat there just watching from yeah. a distance, like, oh, yes. But they all sound really meaty. There's a nice bit of bass to it. It sounds modern. Same idea, but modernized, right? I, I don't mind it. I don't dislike it. What I have to get used to, though, is the, the boosh sound mm. yeah. and knowing, like, actually internally feeling how much damage I've done. Because I realize I tend to underestimate with the pistol and overestimate with the, with the AKs and with the rifles. I, at the end up giving fake information to my team, and not because I, I want to make a fool of them, but I actually thought, hey, he, he's, he's low HP. I guarantee you he's low HP, and actually not at all, just one hit or two maxes. With the pistol, it's the other way around. Sometimes you goosh someone, and I don't get the same kind of strong feedback that I had before, and I got to get used to it. Yeah, no, I think that some of that is a product of them trying to, you know, balance out the, the peaks. Like, I think Counter-Strike was one game that, as much as we may have loved it, it did have, like, almost damaging levels of yeah. like sound when you were getting those, those mm. you know that like ear crushing headshot uh, there's a balance i think you know because you do what was so beautiful about that is it led to pro players when they got caught off guard you know someone's like caught walk crawled under your scope or has ended up behind you and just suddenly shoots you in the back of the head players are jumping out of their chair or like reacting and cringing as they take the bullet and i think part of that is why cs is so gangster you know it's like yeah. getting owned feels like you got owned <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. you do, you just sit there and go, wow. He... When you get that, that one D. Yeah, he's, he's nothing on your screen, then suddenly there's just like a shining bald head and he's running like a Ferrari and you're bang, you know, you just feel it. You get put to rest. Um, and yeah, some of that is, is a little bit still uh, in, in the realms of needing improvement. We have just um, lost the server. If anyone just joined us and is wondering what's going on here. Gonna be getting that one, I, I would assume, booted back up. I mean, beyond the emotional side of obviously the sound system that we have in the game, which I completely agree with, I think it's truly important. Professional players at the highest level listen to every single sound and they compute something out of it yes. without even thinking. They know how, how much damage have they sustained, how much damage have they done to someone else, did they hit someone in the smoke, did they grab maybe a feet as they were spraying. All of these information has to be kind of integrated and now we're kind of step zero or step one because you're still finding out like what happened, mm. how many have I hit, how many have I heard. Um, it is one of the issue or issue. Let's say one of the areas of improvement I like to see on that beta as well is I'm, I find myself second guessing the sounds that I hear. You know, whereas in Counter Strike, yeah, usually yeah. you would be able to say to for one. sure he is to my left, he's 10 meters up or down behind that box. Sometimes in Source 2, for now, I'm still kind of finding, have I really heard it? Is it really behind me? Yeah. And we have to get to that point where mm -hmm. we implicitly believe. As opposed listening. to, yeah, because it's new. It's like a brand new input, mm -hmm. and so you don't have that immediate react. So it is the first to four and the first seven, respectively, for uh, the T side, they need four. For the CT side, they need seven. Fair enough. We have the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Four and seven in order to put that one to bed. I mean, this is the most orbs we've seen by far. We have four orbs in the server for this round. So we'll it. actually get a chance to watch the new green gun do some damage. It's Harry versus Shalfi. Not expecting this positioning, I don't... What do you mean he is? Maybe Harry... Oh, spots him! Covered by Nerts, and it's a one-for-one. One. It was very good cover by Nurse. Harry had the position, but wasn't even needed at the end. Cadian's going to be looking for information, as Cadian does. You can see the staggered feet there on the uh, Nerds stance. Model is much more indicative of your actual positioning. Adrian. He's waiting with the scope now, the lightning strike. Will it strike twice in the same place and can it hit them right in the face as they're getting ready to go for the bombardment out onto A. Smoke down, Nerds walking up as well. So both of these snipers in position, jumping off over the top of the smoke. It's Harry with the first, the AK slays. cadian has gone down. Nerds has the battle back. He's right on the ramp, but it'll hit it. Quick correction, uh, for the CT side, I think I said seven. It's actually 10. They required. are looking for 10. They need 10. Whoa. Yeah, well, it was a, it was Long a road stompy ahead. first half. Damn. But Harry. we're still looking for four for the T we side. Are. We, we're sticking with that number. We are. So 10 okay. and four are the magic numbers. 
I mean, as we proceed on the, uh, the, the utility conversation, I think the better visibility through Molotovs is something that I appreciate a whole lot. Mm. I, I was not a big fan of the smoke being in front of you with the flames, having no idea what the hell is going on. And some side can see, some other don't. Depending on where you are in the map, just get rid of all of that. That yeah. it, it isn't skill-based. I don't like it at all. I like that you can see through much better. And now it can't be really used as a wall as it was in, uh, in Counter-Strike Go, actually. Get to see the Krieg in action. I haven't bought it myself. Let's see how it feels. Acadian. Well, he doesn't let them us get a single Ooh. look at it. Nice from Shalfi. Ooh, Ooh, spotted on the extinguisher. What do we call it? It's not an extinguisher. Oh, it's a. We're gonna have to come up with. We're a gonna word. have to come up with a word. That's for sure. The creatives out there, the yeah. poets of the world, please. Needed. Oh, Snappy's got this round in the bag, lads. Harry, the smoke's out. Dead to Snappy. Bomb ticking, two on two. Hard shots to hit, but exist delivers the first, and now a one on one. Snappy V Nerd, he's going for it. a little cheeky face. Good Molotov to force him off the bomb, has to respect it. Snappy making sure his lineups still work. Nerd's options really limited, and uh, with the kit picked up, a Molotov and a Might hole. Stick it. Yeah, Snappy, what you got? What you got? Snappy, Snappy, go! Who wants to call? Who won that round? I'll leave you guys. I'll leave you guys to it. Jackie. I think who won that round? Defuse. You have three. I think you got it. I think, I you think got he it. got the defuse. I'd, I'd say that was a defuse. <laughs> I had it out too. He did get the defuse. Yeah, he got exactly. the defuse. Thank you, much, Thank you Rush. <gasps> yeah, because you have to make sense oh, of that. Yeah. What is kind this? Of S1 wins the round. Symbolic messages being sent from <laughs> another world to you. It's like... <laughs> I was just trying to do like it the off Matrix. the audio because I was like, my eyes are not quite sure what they're seeing. Yeah. My brain tells me it was <laughs> a I defuse. Got da Vinci code in here, trying to understand what's going on. KD is taking the AWP lower and there's five T's there. Uh, this could be a fast AWP flank. Here what do you go. reckon? Like, they're out. Oh, I read. Go anymore where that came from. Yes, he does. Significant damage on the bang. Thanks here. Going. Harry, ballsy, pushing, oh, fragging, oh Harry oh Russell Harry. in the server, he's taken them all down, a triple, they get a triple, it's a triple, Crad steals it from him, but he's feeling himself there, the B-Rush defense from Harry. Dude, the flashes, I felt invincible, man, I just kept, I just kept going back in, they can't get stop me. Oh, there you that go. He says it for himself, doesn't he? <laughs> man. This is what pure happiness looks like. Oh. Dopamine level through the roof. Let's go. So we can track now three rounds out of the 10 that the CTs were needing. We're, we're making our way. In fact, 30%, some would say. Quick math. Yeah, believe it or not, Match Medic wasn't the first thing they were working on when developing a brand new board. So <laughs> Counter-Strike. Cadian this time pulls off the aggression from the drop door. Thank you very much, Harry. Oh, sheesh. That green knife really shining. The lighting on Ooh, that. Oh, my yeah. God. Look oh, at it. look at Go it. Go stand in the sun, D-Hurst. Not trying to win. Oh, oh, oh. Nice shots. Covered by fame. Can the CTs find four in a row? Harry's going to be tested, I reckon. He's kind of solo, eh? He's committed to the position. So from that point on, you just do not move. You do not move and you accept that. They don't know where I am. First, he's going to be unsuspecting. Oh, no, no, he's oh. taking your grenade. Don't take your grenade. Oh. Why would you do this? Oh. It's all gone a little bit wrong. Harry definitely having his jimmies rustled on that one, but no, it's getting naughty again with the scope and it's all up to fame. And the 1v2 tapping through. He's being pushed though. Is he aware? Clears the side of the smoke. He drops down, hits the head. Hello? He's got it. He's got it. And Nerds finishes it actually with the Molotov, no less. They continue their run. Happy with that one. Nerds going to be smiling ear to ear. And you can see the crowd is here nice and early as well. Much love to you for coming over to check out the show match. Of course, we do have a grand final we to do. look forward to as well. Phase versus Cloud. On Go, actually, this time. We'll be bringing on CS2. No. We'll be on Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Go global Offensive. <laughs> we're really rolling it back. Um, quite literally, we're going to be seeing how that one plays out later on today. But the players are uh, taking time out of their day to come join us. To have a little look at how things are feeling. And it feels great for Nerds on this orb right now. Look at that. What is that weapon, d -Hut? Just crab walking across. Oh, this is where a grenade would be marvelous. Oh. Look at this. Oh. This is exactly what oh. I'm talking about. Oh. He can move. Oh, you did. Oh. Yes. That's what we're talking about. He's going to get some more. They actually need back. Triple out of nerds.
The smokes won't cover you anymore. You're not safe. Cadian again. Back today. He's playing right on the lip of it. He's hit the shot as well, and Testers is just in the rear. It's easy pickings. I mean, they've gone on a tear since the half. So, recapping the score. What did Thank we you say? very much. What did you we said say? we needed 10. They're halfway through. They have five out of the 10 they needed. Oh, that was oh, a nice man. shot. Nice shot. Which leads that. me to believe they have 11 rounds. If five is the magic number, they must have 11 in total. Yes. Well, they haven't got, they've got zero, and they needed four. So it was 12. So it's like. It is actually 11 to 12. 11 to 12. 12 being the T side. Wow. Production, feel free oh. to correct me. I do believe I had my math correct. Thank I you, went, Matthew. I went to university after all. He did. He's got the bachelor's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see the flash what? in the smoke? What? Man? That was a very fancy effect. It like illuminated the whole smoke. Almost like a night in the club. And just yeah, just lightning in a cloud yeah. or something. That was cool, man. Well, oh. that's certainly grooving. So it's a four on four bomb yet to be committed. We got Cadian responsible for this mid fight. A whole lot of patience. The game they got comes nades. to an end. Here they still. come. Flashes out, Canadian still wants to fight. And delivers. On to exist, no trade. Oh, they nearly lined up for him. Brad's pushed up long, Get does catch one at the tail end of it, but they're coming into B. Nerds going to be sticking out and still hits the shot. Nerds on for another multi-kill round on this orb. The flash is in support, but he can't hit the shot now. It's a two on one, could oh, be no. a cut. No way! Oh! Does it good? Does it strong? That is a clutch up. Nerds have done everything right. He did everything. And let's not forget, it was like both of the orbs hitting everything. Still not enough. He got his first kill, then he waited for a flash. A teammate actually flashed for him. He waited for that. Then he peeked after the flash, couldn't convert the shot, and then a very much chivalrous retake from the two left CTs, but not meant to be. There is just something that looks so crisp about watching this new AWP as well. Some of these shots just look so damn deadly. Hey, we got the score count now as well. Nice. There you Appreciate go. Appreciate it. A bit of aggression. I don't think it's being held right now. I think he might have just found it. Oh, nice thing, I did turn around. Oh, no. Ah, dead, dead, ah, dead. Ah. Fame, the 180R warrior. Harry, the 89. He's keeping oh, up. Shabby. He's keeping up with the big boys. One of the new information as well that we have on the HUD is the total damage. Yeah, I that like is that. quite interesting. I feel like obviously with the ADR we had some kind of an indication, but I think with the total damage it's going to speak to people much clearer. Agreed. This 100%. man has five thousand damage. He has three thousand damage. You feel the difference immediately. Yeah, one hundred percent. Averaging it out, just you know, you, you, at the start of the game ADR means nothing, whereas exactly. seeing the total damage always means something. Ooh. Oh, that could have been two. Crowd a good spray on that M4, but still too alive. Shalfi trying to make some magic happen, and he has connected onto Harry. Could find more as well. Not in a rush. Worried about that long push. Elevator's just pushed up and tucked. Very low HP on Crad. Bombs on car still, so they're oh, going to let look him look. Him. He's going to find Elevator. He's going to look for him. He should have him. He's got yeah. him booked. Free. Oh, oh, dead man. That was the bomb as well. Shalfi's lost it. A 1v2 situation with very little time. D has to basically knife out here. And the orb's holding the perfect line. Both of them are. Oh, go on, D. Hit it. Hit the crack. Oh, oh that's naughty. He's not even broken a smile or a sweat, but that was cheeky. That was really sick, man. God, we're seeing all the little mechanics, all the little gimmicks. We're seeing like some sick plays as well. 
this and people show, just man. flirting with the edge of smokes. I think we're going to see a whole lot of that in the first few games because people have to figure out how much maneuvering room they have around smokes. Mm. Can I take a risk? How much do you see me? Is it to my advantage? Is it to yours? We see so many AWPs punishing rifles, being a little curious, a little cheeky, peeking left, right of a smoke. And people will have to figure that out for themselves. And that's why we played as bazillion matchmakings before, because we need to have an idea of that. Side on 14, Deha has delivered their 14th. Can he make it 15? Drops his util. Cadian's okay, gonna, gonna get a barrage. Look at that double Molotov burning quickly down to half health. Well, they got the long commit. We're gonna get a little throwback to the old Navi takes here. Oh, no, we're not. Because it's just gonna be straight bullets. Deha deals with another. Dink, good on the top of the car. It's damage, but D has doing a lot for the boys. Harry Harry. Russell. Looking to come up clutch. He repositions for the mid push. He has the bullets, has the frag, has the awareness. Harry, can you go 1v3? Underhand nade. Chip away. Going for the jump shot. Got to respect it. Low HP on the other as well. Exist backing away long side. Harry playing the fade, snaps onto the head, and Harry clutches up, and that's going to feel sensational. Someone sight this man, immediately. Oh, he's the missing link, get him off the casting desk, get him on the grand final stage. Hugo, just let him go, just let him go, Hugo. He's got a career. <laughs> oh my. Oh man, that's everything. I love that he was a he was so ready for that CT push. He tucked in left side, plays the fade brilliantly, and adjusts into Snappy going wide, Goose. And look at this. Look at the reaction. Harry's having the time of his life. I'm so happy to be bearing really witness to him. this. Yeah, me yeah. too. Okay. A coach, a manager. Harry says in the chat. Well, he's got him up to 12. I thought they'd done enough there. Deha thought he'd done enough, but Harry. He's closed the gap. We got a real competitive one at 12 to 14. Nade onto Deha. Chunk of damage done. Oh, and Deha finally downed as well. He's been a demon on the server, so removing him from the equation could be just what the doctor ordered for Team Harry. Everybody hitting the brakes now. It's very methodical. <laughs> it got serious now. It's Harry just clutched methodical. against us. I'm mad. Let's let's see how this they is, can this find This is it. how high level Counter Strike is actually being played. It's a five v four. You 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 step down a little bit. You slow down. You make sure no one pushes. Crowd is doing just so, and you punish him exactly by the book, ladies and gentlemen. Counter Strike 101. You have the numbers. You have the patience, and you punish. Harry's back in the feed, lads. Gets himself another. What's that about? Squeeze me. <laughs> oh. The molly on the side of the smoke, some team damage, but they're across. 2v3, significant damage now to both sides. This is playing this Gandalf position, should be able to get away with a lot. I mean, it's just a question. Have a down this. They do. Mollied him out, burned him down. Still takes one with him. And it is another round for the CTs. They are closing this gap quick. I can only get one. I always get caught. Like, it's hard to get away, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, more like escaping, like when you yes, get tagged. Yes, yes. Slow down. Uh, like after you shoot, you are slow down. Yes, like. yes. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I don't like problem it. solving. I, get one and die every time. Mm. I, see, I keep saying it. Like, because it's like, like honestly, listening to what the pros are gonna, their natural reaction when their intuition isn't met or like their expectation isn't met. Mm. That's like worth its weight in gold. That's the kind of feedback that you know some people won't be able to perceive, but it's just through the, you know, ten thousand hours that they've been setting these unspoken expectations of the game. And it's that velocity, I guess, when you fire that shot, you know, it used to be, uh, it's something that we always keep an eye on with orbs. It was changed to actually go. The aggression, look at this. Full on aggression, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. There is the gem for his oh. break. Oh, oh. the second as well. And just like that, 4-1 trade. This is gonna be another round for the CT side. We're gonna tie, this is gonna be a tied up game. Now I'm gonna ask the forbidden question, Alex. What happens if we get to 15? Can we really let the first CS2 match end on a draw? Oh, uh, absolutely not. We're going to have to work it out. Either it's a one-on-one -on -one choose your champion. Kind of like that oh, idea. I like that Kinda one. I like that idea. You put Harry, of course. We're going to nominate Harry, him. Harry, for sure. Oh, yeah. They have to nominate their champion. And it's, uh, yeah, you can choose your weapon. Choose your champion.
This is a, a very dead boy. Can we get the first knife kill? Oh, oh denied! Exist will go down swinging. Not today, he says. Not today. Oh. It's nice to see even the referee's enjoying himself. Normally he has to have a real stone serious face, but it's nice to see the boys having fun. Uh, where are we at then? I'm going to see it this one again. It might just be 14-14. I'm going to wait until they make a, a unilateral call. We'll see the little pop-up with the scoreline on top right of our screen in a few seconds. <laughs> Tessa's reaction to a failed knife. We've all been there. Yeah. There it yeah, is. Got it. 14, 14 apiece. apiece. Xbox smoke from fame. Harry trying some aggression, but Nerds has been doing this all the time. And two spotted on the B cross. What a tap out of Exist. Handles the first. He wants more. He tell it. Oh, oh, Exist! Master of the B site. He's got it all done. Now Harry up against them all. And no bullets. Nice handling from Shalfi. Cadian. Dead to right. What a round. 15 in the bank. Just when we thought the CTs were onto their winning ways. It's the DTs that find themselves back in the mix. Team Temp, Team 27015. With match point. What a way to win round 15. Straight bullets catching to the dome. Exists rolling back the years quite literally with that double entry. I haven't even tried the CZ. I wonder if that sounds the same. We might get a look. It's not a whole lot of money for this. It's CT not a lot, is it? It's complicated. But I mean, I'll never write out Harry with his Desert Eagle. He's oh! It, did he just stop the Xbox he smoke? He did. I <laughs> you did a rat. Yeah! Canadian feared a cheeky, <laughs> cheeky game, my boy. No Xbox, but fortunately they're going up long and there's no CTs here. No, it's watching the lower tons. Because of, by virtue of the interrupted Xbox smoke. Tess has already got a nice gap through suicide. Just hit the gap. They're Slip fighting. The they're fighting. Oh, and they're hitting. Shot, Cadian. The 5-7 snaps onto one head. Diva, though. Hunting oh. heads. Sprays down another. Is this it? There's only three of them. Only Deagles. Can Tessa Steeg? Anyone else? He's been spotted out on the long flank. got plank. it under control. They got it under control, Alex. There's no way. It's got to end here. Tessa and Harry. Giving it a go. Of course, we see on a full 30 rounds of Counter Strike, but we have locked it in. And my watch is celebrating. That is the watch saying GG, is that what's happening? <laughs> that was the best timing that my alarm really has good, ever yeah. had. Yeah, GG. GG. GG indeed. A full 30. And I'd, I'm very excited uh, just to hear what these pros were saying. Like just having a little glimpse of Cadian's reaction there. I think with all of those voices, I think we are going to eventually have some of those players mic'd up and we can just talk through some of the experiences of that game. Oh. I wanted to check Harry's final scores because, you know, I don't know if... Uh, I'm sure he'll know. He'll know. Oh, he'll I'm know. sure he'll know. I'm sure he'll know. Look, you, you were making an excellent point right before you were saying, when we have these professionals that played tens of thousands of hours, they have a whole implicit model in their mind of what it should be to play Counter-Strike. Right. And then when there is something that contrasts with it, it just hits you like a brick. Mm. You cannot not think about it. Cadian's played with a sniper multiple millions of rounds. Yeah. And then he's like, why Why can I not escape? Normally, Usually I, I get the kill and I'm that. escaping. Yeah. I know exactly what to do. And then that's kind of this contrast that we are hopefully are going to hear from them because they are worth gold. And the first few people are going to be kind of figuring that out. And it's going to be a race to who can adapt first. Really cool of the players to uh, to agree to join us and try this out in their own time as well. Uh, it would have been certainly a different type of show match if the players they weren't as willing as.